You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another video game review. I'm sorry this one took so fucking long. I really don't know why I put it off, I just haven't got around to it. But here it is, I know Super Gaming's been waiting for it, so here it is. A review of Alex Jones's New World Order Wars. Now, New World Order Wars was a game that I first heard about from Super Gaming, but then saw ads for on Bandot Video and other places that I was frequenting. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Alex Jones, I've never tried to hide that, and uh, him making a video game sounds like the best thing ever. So naturally, of course, I couldn't wait to buy it. Uh, obviously, it's not on Steam or anything like that, because of course it's not going to be. It's obviously also not on console. Uh, so you had to buy it online. And uh, in the trailer, it even says you can download it. You actually can't, which really kind of pisses me off, because uh, it's kind of bullshit that I'm paying just for access to a browser game. You have to be on the browser on the website to play. That's pretty lame. Okay, addendum. Holy shit, it's on Steam. I, I, I didn't fucking... It's on Steam. I just looked on the website. It's fucking on Steam, so there you go. So if you have it on Steam, I assume you can download it. Now, the price they charge for the game on the website is $17.76, because of course it is. Uh, that's also the same price he charges for a lot of his t-shirts and other merch, obviously. The Steam version costs more than that, and unfortunately, I can't use the Steam version having bought the one on the website. I really wish it would just let me download it from the website. I do think that's a pretty big flaw, but let's talk about the game itself. So, NWO Wars is a side-scrolling shoot-em-up up with platforming elements. It actually feels pretty similar to AVGN Adventures, although obviously much, much easier. But uh, gameplay-wise, that's the first thing that came to my mind playing it. Obviously, one of the best bonuses is that Alex Jones is giving fucking one-liners throughout the whole thing, and uh, a lot of the bosses are parodies. Uh, it's pretty fucking funny with the way it's done. Overall, the game is very, very fun. You're just going from side to side, killing the enemies, getting the one-liners, fighting gay frogs, fighting globalists. The uh, whole time, Alex Jones is giving his funny one-liners. His one-liners are really funny. Like, there's also other quotes in it, like, where he's like, you know, the globalists don't want you to know this, but the ducks in the park are free. I have 548 ducks at home, or something like that. Another downside to the game, however, is it is very, very short. I beat it in 43 minutes. There's no bonus modes or unlockables or anything either. Once you beat it, you beat it. That's about it. The only thing you could do is maybe try to get a higher score. But again, the game is also piss easy, so I beat it really quick, and uh, it was very short and easy. But again, it was fun. I think mainly the reason to get it is to show support for Alex Jones, which obviously I wanted to do. Plus, there's the gimmick of it of playing a game with him in it that's fucking hilarious. Uh, Gameplay-wise, you have a base pistol that you start with, but you can pick up weapon upgrades like that actually use ammo. There's also unique power-ups you get, like Super Trump or riding on Joe Rogan, who's a centaur. However, the these are short-lived and only last for particular sections of the game. There's also a level where you ride around in Alex Jones's car, and it's it's based on his actual car that he has that he always used to drive around in DC with his megaphone and stuff. So, this game is fun, it's a fun gimmick, it's short, but you know, it's fun to play as a little gimmick, and I'm sure I'll go back to it and play through it again at some point. Uh, but it's mainly good for a laugh. I mean, it's, it's a joke, it's fun, the gameplay's solid enough, but again, it is a little too easy, I think, and you beat it far too quickly. But overall, it's a fun play, and I would recommend it. Uh, anyway, this has been Fugitive Red Eye. I hope you enjoyed this review. Have a good one. Toodles. Subscribe to Fugitive Red Eye.